Here we are in Hershey, Pennsylvania, home of the Pete and C Conference. Hi, we are here at Pete and C 2014. At this event, teachers, administrators, and principals all over PA come to learn the latest and greatest in technology. Let's get started. What are you hoping to take away from this conference? I'm hoping to take away resources for my teachers and students to use back in my school district. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that technology that you are excited about? Sure. Um, in our intermediate unit, we're implementing a lot of virtualization, so that's uh, really exciting for us. And we're also implementing a program called Hybrid Learning, um, and our hybrid learning partners are here today represented. So um, that's a, a new program that's really going to benefit some of the students in our school districts. Are there any new pieces of technology that you're excited about? New pieces of technology. I am really excited about the Pete and C classroom. We've been working with students who are using iPads in second grade and they're using them in centers. The keynote speaker on Monday morning was Kevin Honeycutt. His presentation was funny and informative. He is a technology integration specialist. This presentation, we had a chance to speak with Kevin. Are there any new pieces of technology that you're excited about? I'm kind of excited about drones right now because I think kids can fly them and think and plan and think about geography uh, and they're getting cheap enough. I even like the idea of kids making their own drones. You know, there's a whole maker movement out there. Um, so this this idea of putting a, putting a camera anywhere we want is really exciting. Hi, I'm Katie. In your eyes, how does technology benefit students? I think. Kids absolutely have to know how to use technology. I call them digital limbs. The kids can use technology to learn and to get smarter and to build a life. They absolutely must be able to do that. And I love teachers that let that happen. Thank you. So what encouragement words would you give to teachers who are using technology in their classrooms? I would tell them they're doing the right thing, that kids are going to spend the rest of their lives in the future, not our past. And so they're there making sure kids get to use that stuff. And I know they're nervous, but they're doing it anyway, and I honor that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Will Denning, and are there any other sites that would help with kids' edu student education? Tons of stuff out there, but if, if a teacher is networked with other teachers, they can find anything they want, any time they want. But I want kids to get smarter, like YouTube. You can go on YouTube and learn how to play the cello. I think you've got to ask yourself, why am I online? What am I doing? And, and, and get better at something if you're going to be doing this stuff, right? So get out there and learn the world, find anything, teach yourself how to learn. This is the expo area. There are many vendors here to show their fancy products. The vendors are extremely considerate. If you have any questions, they are here to answer them. This year's PNC had more than 200 vendors. Besides the great presentations, PNC has many useful gadgets too. Justin Elliott, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. principal of Colorado Hills High School. Uh, how do you teach your students the importance of being a digital citizen? Digital citizen is their number one priority. It oversees learning and everything because that's how they communicate with each other and that's a very important thing to teach. Thank you.